Hi guys, so here's how to make a pricing plan on Zenla. So first of all, I'm on the dashboard and I'm going to click on courses. And then I'm going to click on my existing course. Then I'm going to click on pricing in this bar here. So at the moment I've got no pricing plans added yet. So first of all, I'm going to click add a new plan. And let's start off with a payment plan. So that's a fixed number of payments over a certain amount of time. So for example, it might set, might cost you five pounds now, five pounds next month, and five pounds a month after. So let's click on that. Uh, so first of all, instalment amount, you can pick your currency. Uh, I'm going to go for pounds just because I'm English. Uh, I'm gonna put in two pounds, and we're going to say over three instalments and then we'll pick every month but as you see as you can see you can go yearly three months six months or custom i'm just going to go monthly and i'm going to say monthly payment plan and i'm going to call that monthly payment plan uh, description i'm going to say three months of unrestricted access to all your courses, to all my courses. There we go, so unrestricted access to all my courses. I'm gonna put buy now, we're gonna make that a little bit more compelling and we're gonna say, get started. Um, you can add bullet points. So yeah, you can add bullet points. You can also set the availability, um, which is quite good to stimulate uh, demand and supply. So for example, if this course makes, if you make this course look like it's a very exclusive offer, you might get more purchases. Um, and then you can also set tiers. So tiers, as this little box says here, can be set. So pricing can be set and then selected sessions can only be accessed for this plan. So you can make it exclusive or not. I'm gonna turn that off. And then access for community is another thing you need to think about. So for example, if you're quite active with your community, that might be a big selling point. So you might want to offer a cheaper course for people who don't get a community and set a more expensive price for people who do get communities, depending on what your course is and what you're comfortable with and how active you plan on being on your community. So at the moment, I'm gonna set that as none because this is a test account and I don't have one there. But if you do, you can just pick it from the drop down box and make sure it's the relevant community for your course. And I'm gonna just click finish on that. There we go, as you can see, pricing plan added successfully. I'm then going to add another plan. So that was my payment plan. Uh, this one's gonna be a subscription. So I've just clicked subscription here. Uh, monthly, let's say it's going to be five pounds. Uh, we'll do it monthly. Again, you, get, you can adjust the billing periods. And then I'm gonna call it monthly subscription. A description I'm gonna leave blank. Uh, again, you can change the button text, you can set a free trial. So trial plans are you can set up. So for example, if you wanted to give them a week to test out the product before you then move them onto their subscription, you can do that. So for this, I'm just gonna put seven in there. Uh, again, bullet points and availability and tiers are the same as well. Community, again, so these options are mostly the same as you would find on any payment plan. So just do accordingly what you want to do if you want to add in various different SKUs based on that. So for example, you might want to have a monthly subscription without the community or monthly subscription with a community and they can be differing prices. So let's just leave that one there. So this one doesn't have access to the community or a, and it has a free trial. And then I'm gonna add another plan. So one-time purchase is in is lifetime access. So you're gonna to wanna to put that higher than your subscription and higher than your payment plans. So let's say I put this at 100 pounds. Again, whatever you're comfortable with, but, but bear in mind, this is a one-time lifetime access plan. So you're gonna to want to have it more than a subscription. And we're just gonna call this one-time. Payment. 
So we're just going to call that one time payment. Description I'm going to leave blank. Buy now. As I said, guys, these are pretty much all the same options. Um, but because this is a premium model, the one time plan is relatively premium, you might want to add in community access. And we'll finish that. And then finally, we'll add in one more plan. And then this is free. So free, it just cuts out the entire pricing option. And so you might want to use this for your taster lessons and then add an upsell block. There's another tutorial on how to add an upsell block. As you can see, it's got all the same details that you would add in except for the price. But as I say, this is a relatively common thing to do to have a free introduction lesson and then have an upsell block later on in the process to then move them onto a, a paid for plan. So I'm just going to click finish here and that's saved. Now, there is one thing that I have missed off of here. So if I just edit the one time payment and I scroll down, you can make this the most popular plan. So I'm going to update that and that's just going to put some extra bells and whistles around that plan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my URL, copy, and I'm going to paste it into a new tab. I'm going to click here. And then as you can see, here is the course pricing. So most popular one-time payment plan, there you go. So it's just an extra little pop out there. This is where my bullet points would go just underneath. And as you can see, it goes through all my details. So this was the description I used. And there we go. That's how to add a pricing plan with Zenla.